creation of the A7 Plus articulator. Adjust the angle of the condylar guides at 30 degrees and the Bennett at 15. Push the locks back so that the frames are aligned. Preparation of the A7 Fix articulator. Push the locks into clamp and align the articulator's frames. In this model, the condylar guides are fixed at 30 degrees and Bennett at 15. Preparation of the 4000S articulator. This model allows intercondylar distance adjustment. To place the articulator in the distance obtained with face bow, fit the condylar elements in the respective positions 1, 2, or 3. Slightly loosen the screws of the condylar guide and adjust the distance through the micrometric expander spindle so that there is not side movement between the upper and lower frames. Place the condylar guides at 30 degrees and the Bennett at zero. Mounting of the upper cast. Before starting the mounting, remove the nasian relator from the face bow. Place the upper cast in the fork and fasten it so there is no clearance. The registration transfer is made by positioning the holes of the earpieces of the face bow in the fixation pins of the articulator. Close the face bow firmly and tighten its central screw. For more stability and precision, use the fork support, optional, and four type plaster. Lift the upper frame of the articulator and add a suitable portion of plaster on the mounting plate, filling up the retentive area of your plate and another portion of plaster on the base of the cast. Close the articulator until the upper frame gets in contact with the crossbar of the face bow and wait until the plaster hardens. After curing the plaster, remove the face bow and prepare the articulator for the lower cast mounting. Put the incisal pin in its rounded tip facing down and place it at the zero mark so that the upper and lower frames are parallel to each other. To mount the lower cast, it is required to relate it with the mounted upper cast according to what it is intended to obtain in the mounting process. Regular maximum intercuspation or centric relation. With the articulator inverted on the table, add a portion of plaster on the base of the previously hydrated lower cast and another portion on the mounting plate. Close the articulator until the incisal pin gets in contact with the incisal table. Fix the articulator's frames with a rubber band in order to avoid possible distortions caused by the plaster expansion.